Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to January's wrap-up and layout share. So I'm doing a full wrap-up again this month. If you would like to see me go back to the way I was doing it, where I, I had sort of two or three smaller wrap-ups, for instance, uh, you know, like an update on how to kill a kit with style on its own, um, a wrap-up for collection obsession for the month as well as the full wrap-up, just let me know down in the comments below. But I thought I would maybe just do it a little bit, in a little bit of an easier way, do one full wrap-up. It may be a little bit longer, but I will definitely let you know uh, where each project falls within which series, hop, or collection uh, it falls. So I got 12, 12 by 12 layouts done this month. That makes me quite happy. And one six by eight. So my six by eight is already in this little album here. It definitely uses my collection obsession, which as you know, this month was Where To Next from Vicky Booten. So I got that on here. And this was for January's Stretch the Sketch, as well as, of course, that day's sketch sunday got a little bit of a doily on here some bramble fox bits and some fun wood buttons as well so this was an easy one to make a quick one to make and a fun one and when i recorded the video i asked you whether i should outline it in black and most of the comments i got were a no and i had decided in fact that i wasn't going to i'm just going to leave it the way it is so there you go, one six by eight for this month, collection obsession. This one here um, was for uh, Get in Shape. So it was a little sort of mid-month. I, I got two of those done, I think, this month. I got the circles done and I got the triangles done. And that's what this one is for. And this I used, uh, what did, this is basically Baby Got Scraps. Totally Baby Got Scraps. It is a page kit that I put together for Baby Got Scraps. Cardstock background as opposed to the one pattern paper. And if you recall, I went back and forth. I was thinking of maybe doing a little bit of stenciling. In the end, I used the... Um, navy cardstock. I did a little bit of stamping here. These stamps even have little triangles on them. I thought I was quite clever with that. Time to relax. This will be going in Christina's album, her uh, little getaway to New York before the session started again. A little bit of doodling, flare bits, bramble fox bits. So lots of my little favorite bits and pieces there. This was for Christmas in January. So this I went just into my Christmas stash, not either Collection Obsession or How to Kill a Kit or Baby Got Scraps. I went right into my Christmas stash. Some gorgeous Maha designs from Sweden uh, paper, some of the Vicky Booten, some Bramble Fox, a nice little red doily, Nicole Jones 911. So lots of fun little bits here. The wood buttons from Shadney. Uh, chipboard from the Vicky Booten collection as well. And I even popped in a little fa la 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 la, a little puffy sticker here from Coco Vanilla. So this will be going into Julia's album. There are videos, of course, for every layout that I'm showing you. Some of them are process videos, some are shares. I was able to get a little bit more done as a process um, this month than in December, but there are still some shares, but hopefully they still gave you enough information. So there you go. This one, I really, really like this one. So this one is, basically this one is Collection Obsession Baby Got Scraps, um, and it was also for Mad About Mini Paper Pads. On the third Saturday of the month, we come to you with Mad About Paper Pads. This will be going into Chloe's album, and I just did some sort of quilting, puzzling, whatever, uh, mosaic-type background here with some 
scraps from the six by eight paper pad from uh, Where To Next, as well as a few little scraps that I had on my desk. And I think this one turned out, this one is fun. This might be one of my favorites this month for sure. Some wood buttons from Shadney, uh, Bramble Fox acrylic pieces, flare from Hey Little Magpie, and some little bits. And I just love this little parasol, which was in the Vicky Booten um, Where To Next Ephemera, which I did not buy per se when I bought the collection, because as you know, I'm, I'm not buying ephemera anymore, but it was in a Mercy Cara Kits uh, kit that I got. So there we go for that one. This, of course, you will see this is um, Spiegel Mom Scraps, a large, large, large shaker. And then I outlined the entire circle with some sequins as well. This collection obsession um, again. So maybe at the end, I'll just quickly put the collection obsession aside and then, you know, you can see them all in, in one place. Uh, lots and lots and lots of layers behind the photo here, a Bramble Fox title piece, uh, some of the ephemera from uh, Where To Next as well. So this one was fairly simple, quite frankly, once I did all the layering for the photos and got the shaker done and the outline with the sequins as well, it, it pretty much uh, had the page going and this lovely, lovely, large wreath. Part of this was inspired by a sketch that Christy made for us in January that she posted over in the 30 Days of Sketches uh, group. So this was sort of like an exclusive sketch for us. And I wouldn't say I followed the sketch, but there was definitely some inspiration that came from that sketch this was um, for the My Scrappy Life virtual crop this month and my recipe challenge for that. Every month, of course, over in Miranda's group, we have a, a weekend full of fun. And this was for my recipe challenge. Uh, so pop on over to that group if, you, if you're not part of it to see. There are some gorgeous, gorgeous uh, layouts that were done with this recipe and this was using a very very old pattern paper it was an Amy Tan I believe pattern paper and this was based on a discussion over in the low spend no spend Facebook group my friend Scylla's group and some deep stash diving bits here bramble fox bits and so this is fun lots of layering this will also go into Chloe's album. So a lot of these are going into um, albums that won't be staying here, which is good because I'm collecting a lot of albums. This one will be in my album for 2023. And that is, of course, the Canadian women's team having won the Billie Jean King Cup, which is just absolutely amazing that our tennis both uh, men's and women's tennis has come so, so far and that we are up there with the best players in the world. This was a sketch Sunday and it was a lovely sketch by uh, Jen from Kay's Mum here on YouTube. And it's also, of course, a collection obsession. So there we go. This was for Rediscover Your Stash, my recipe challenge over there. As you know, in Rediscover Your Stash in January, we are on a full spending freeze. I will come back to that in a moment. And I had a recipe challenge for you over there as well. And this was part of that challenge. And this uses... Um, a Baby Got Scraps page kit that I put together uh, for this month. So this is definitely Baby Got Scraps and my recipe. It finishes today and there is a giveaway with it. So make sure you pop on over either to that video, which you'll find uh, here on my channel, or you will also find it over in the Rediscover Your Stash group. You still have time. I'm going to let the full day today go by 
and I will randomly select a winner tomorrow. So if you haven't got in on that yet, pop on over there. Look at Jack. Is he not? Look at that gentle giant. Some foam stickers from Simple Stories, Nicole Jones 911 bits, some buttons. So we did some stash diving here as well, a little flare piece. And this is definitely, this is also one of the pattern papers that I had put aside from, I think it's 2009, maybe, I can't remember now, but this was also one of the pattern papers that I put aside based on the discussion we had in Scylla's group together with scraps. So this one, this is also, uh, my friends, another recipe challenge of mine so on the 10th of every month all year over in the spending freeze 2.0 christy and my group and holly is now helping us as well um getting keeping that group organized um we i will have a recipe challenge for you on the 10th of every month and this was my take for the challenge there's an album over there as well i'll put all of those links down below there's going to be lots of stuff <laughs> down below um this month my friends and i did some fun shaker pockets here as well and this was a page kit that i put together from my how to kill a kit with style which is based this quarter we've now gone to a quarterly um kit building for how to kill a kit with style and the first quarter was based on a mood board that each one of us chose so we all have different mood boards and this was using one of the page kits that i put together with that but it definitely also fits baby got scraps because i did use scraps and one pattern paper in the back. So there you go. This was also for Get In Shape. This was the first one this month. And as you can guess, the shapes were circles. It goes along with Collection Obsession as well. And this is, of course, us, the, our, me, our men, now the ATP Canada team winning the Labour Cup. So this was actually not Canadian. Sorry, it was Team World. We were part, we are part, of course, of Team World. So the Labour Cup is a little bit like, I guess, the Ryder Cup in golf kind of thing. So it's Europe against the world. And that is mainly Canada, Australia, the States, South America, uh, and South Africa, sometimes not uh, this year and Team World won and I think it was our first time winning and the Labour Cup was in Vancouver so in Canada this year which is very very exciting. Collection Obsession and this was just sort of getting myself back into you know the scrappy mojo so I went with one of my go-to designs one third two third this is also a Spiegel Mom Scraps, so I got a lovely sort of little border here of sequins and then dotted my sequins around as finishing touches. This will go into, I can't remember now whether this is Chloe's album or whether it will go into the family album or I've already done this at least once, so somebody already has it. I'll have to go, I'll have to go have a look. Some Nicole Jones 911 butterflies and tabs. Um, also Bramble Fox bits and pieces, wood buttons. So lots of fun goodies in addition to the Spiegel Mom Scrap sequins here. And then these are the last two layouts that I did this month. This one was for um, Sketch Sunday, just this past Sunday. And it was a sketch from Jenna McCarthy from the Hip Kit Club, and I used my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit and did some stash uh, diving for this one as well, and I used some lovely bits and pieces that I got as presents for this one, and this is one you saw just a couple of hours ago, my friends, because it was my off the board for this year, and this um, also is from my How to Kill a Kit 
with style for this first quarter. So, How to Kill a Kit, and I got lots of bits from my stash. You saw this just a couple of hours ago. So, it's really, if you haven't seen it, it's the video just, just before this one. So, I'll let you go back and have a look at that. So, How to Kill a Kit with Style. How to Kill a Kit with Style. Collection Obsession. Collection Obsession. So these are sort of the main items. Uh, this here was also, um, was this How to Kill a Kit with Style? Yes, it was How to Kill a Kit with Style. This is Baby Got Scraps on its own. Collection Obsession. This is just bits from my stash. So I guess this could also definitely be a baby got scraps. I probably said that in my video as well. And it was the virtual crop collection obsession Spiegel Mom scraps collection obsession mad about mini paper pads Christmas in January off and baby got scraps and get in shape here and then another collection obsession uh, with stretch the sketch so collection obsession I got one two three four five six projects so that makes me very very happy so I think I will put where to next away for February I definitely have tons left over and will be able to bring it back but six projects makes me very, very happy. Um, using my Christmas stash, Baby Got Scraps. I have three layouts that really are strictly Baby Got Scraps. And combined here with uh, Get In Shape, combined with the Virtual Crop, and with the Rediscover Your Stash. Um recipe challenge and then how to kill a kit with style so far the update on that is three layout also for my spending freeze challenge for this week's sketch sunday or last sunday's sketch sunday and today's off the board so there you go my friends i have not spent anything in january so that makes me very very happy no spending whatsoever uh and i i think i'm going to try and keep that going for february for sure and then we'll just see how the year goes on i have so much i've done a little bit of organizing again i didn't record that i'm sorry um we'll see if i do a little bit of a um sort of room tour or scrappy space tour split into a few videos in the next couple of months with certain areas because I'm getting close to having organized uh, a lot. I still have some iris containers. I did this month uh, get rid of two, so I emptied two. I got um, lots more goodies into my giveaway basket, did some donations, did some page kits, and put some into my stash but i did some purging and reorganizing i still have some iris containers left so i'll show you maybe i'll put a photo if i can think of it if i remember i'll put a photo at the end of this video of what i do have left i have so one of the containers has all my kitty and puppy supplies my christmas supplies and that i will probably those containers which are I think maybe three or four I may allow myself to keep them as iris containers but then you will see that I still need to get rid of some iris containers because my idea my goal is to get all of my stash into my two Alex drawers and I'm not there yet so there you go we need to keep using some stash as my lovely friend Helen says and what and her one of her favorite hashtags don't stash your stash so there you go my friends that is January wrapped up for me and I will be back over the next couple of days and we'll have a look at what I do for February I'll be keeping 
uh, the same, of course, How to Kill a Kid with Style, because we are doing it quarterly now. So I will be thinking about what I want to do for Collection Obsession. And I missed out totally on Build a Page this month, so I need to get back to that for February. Probably using still because I didn't use all of my baby got scraps page kits and I have some page kits ready to go so uh, build a page should be easy this month and I will see you on a variety of series and hops my friends thank you so so much for being here with me if you have a favorite of the month let me know in the comments down below and how was your scrappy month see you soon my friends bye for now